Morning. 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 What's your name? Heston Ryan. Heston, Heston Ryan. Ryan Coffee, yes. Okay. How old are you? Uh, well, the 24th of 1980, I'm 40. You're 40 now, yeah? 40. Where do you live? Um, before, I had a little bit of housing problem. A few apartments, took up probation, missed a few, and was managed to take up the street by 10th Street, and I'm living in a hotel now, you know? Been ready to move on. I'm just trying to sort of finances, you know? You're in a hotel now? Yeah, yeah. And who, who funds that? Is that through the government or is it by yourself? Like, uh, charity, charity at the moment. Charity, 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 you know? So the charity that helps you? Yeah, charity helps me go where I'm at the moment, off the street, yeah. Okay. What area did you grow up in? Stockington, Boston, Hoxton, all around, I think. Okay, so you're a Hackney person? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did you have any brothers and sisters? Uh, I grew up sort of adopted, you know? The way I was born is like, they never tell me like the real like truth or the real circumstances behind my birth, but I, I believe that I was born um, while my mother was taking a, a, a flight, you know, she was traveling and she got brought on the plane and, you know, um, you know, after that I got adopted because, you know, I don't know the circumstances behind my mom and me. I, was, I would say I was born in September. You know, um, 1980. But you were born years. in the UK though? I was born on the plane, going to America, turning to America. You were born on the plane? Going to America. I got adopted out for the morning. Okay. And have, have you ever tried to find them? Have they ever tried to reach out to you in any way? I, I, I can't, I wouldn't know. I'm sort of, like, I'm just doing my own really. I've got a few family adopted, but they don't know really tell me nothing about my real parents, you know. And how was it being adopted? How, how was that for you? Right, so right. I, 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 well, part of my schooling I done in Sri and Tobago. Well, full, I, don't, I didn't finish my full schooling, you know. Um, I done five years in an uh, Anglican school, one year in England. Growing up as a child, after six years having my head injury, where I dropped it the back of my head, too much pressure being placed on my skull, and I had to take a, a hole, you know, a hole behind my head to release the pressure on my skull. Growing up was well, I'm sure I could, normal like any other child would grow up, you know. Never got myself into no gang violence. You know, but I never knew no one around me. I never had no one around me to be in, you know, but still had a, you know, what can I say? People like when in ninety four I had when the HB five was there, went back ninety five, came at ninety nine, got myself into a job, was around my adopted family. And I'm in Trinidad and Tobago though, you know, this amounts like my godmother, a few aunts, a few uncles, you know. I grew up in a, in a country town called Topo, you know. Okay. But, you know, not, not, not too much happening, much because it's like a fishing town, you know, got a gas station, got a comprehensive school, a secondary school, two churches, Anglican and a part of the church. Not much, you know. Why did you come back? My mom, my mom, well, it's a long story between like, knowing my real mom, knowing who she is, and being with an adopted family. I, I came back really to work and actually live, you know. As I, said, I was working, I was living, you know, and just went pear shape, you know. So you actually found out who your real mom was? Not really fine, no, no. Oh, here, well, here was. This. I know who my mom is because of my granddad, you know, I know who my grandfather is. I know when my mom was born in Huxton, my granddad, I don't know where he was born, I know where my grandma is. I can't put a full image of my real mom, but I was, because I was young and I, I won't believe she came because I settled in Trinidad for a few young years, you know, like on um, a little trace called Bex Trace and like, you know, I want to believe my mom disappeared after giving birth to me. But, you know, there's a few people that have been around me, you know, that, that I could, you know, I think that, you know, paint an image of who she really is, you know. What led you to taking drugs? Uh, not relief, not trying to um, escape. But as I told you, uh, if you're smoking drugs, right? And know that like, when it comes to abuse and everything, you know, how, how we can actually, you know, um, 
smoke with you know, trying to abuse and it's, 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 all, it's all to do with pain, like growing up, like just having too much pain on my body and, you know, having a head injury, you know, um, being disobedient, people saying don't go here, don't go to that, you know, and I'm going to do it, you know, it's all about, you know, you know, pain, too much in the lungs, too much pain on the digestive system, you know, it's a sort of a kind of an escape from pain, you know, like, you know. What caused your head injury? A play, child game, child's play. You were just playing? Yeah. And then you dropped on your head? Yeah. So that really affected you growing up? It didn't affect me, but it didn't really affect me at all. Okay. Did you know what job you started with? And at what I'm age? Just, I'm, I don't really smoke, I just make a little cool bit of heroin. Just a little bit of heroin? Yeah. But do you know what you start? What age was you when you first started? 23. You were 23? Yeah. So you remember, this, you remember the actual time? I know it was just in Oxton. It was the Oxton you tried it the first time? Oxton, number six, Oxton, yeah. In Mary's Court. Pardon? In Mary's Court. Mary's Court. It's in Mary's Court. Oh, St. Mary's Court? Yeah. Do you know, so who was that person that introduced you? No, to I did myself. You fished yourself? Yeah. I said, you know, I want to smoke up your hand and you come back to me. And, and what? Yeah. What job was that? Yeah. So you wanted everything. You said I to yourself. Little, not, not plenty, just a little smoke, but like, yeah. I was smoking weed all my life, you know? Oh, so you always been smoking weed? Yeah, yeah. So one morning, you woke up and you said, I want this. You decided for really, yourself. No, I really wanted it. I just wanted to, you know, put it this way, like, you know, my forefathers, like my my, my fathers, right? You know, I'm my, I'm my, because uh, I tend to love, you know, sitting down and actually, you know, finding myself to history, you know? So, as I say, like export and in, uh, export, like where I used to live, it had a sort of a kind of confrontation between the army and a bit of junk cartels in Trinidad and Tobago. And I'm like, you know, I don't know what went on there. But as I say, I pray, you know, and I hope for, like, you know, there's fulfillment back from my bones and my flesh, you know. And I, I don't know if anybody got killed. You know, but it's just history, you know, like, uh, look, I've never seen the whole train of the head, but I've got the emperor's body to see you, what you're going to do to you, you know. Then to find out what, 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 what the cartel and, you know, and the job, you know, who's their help, but, you know, as I say, like, you know, I have got no bad intentions to make a job, you know, I'm just trying to kill the pain of good and evil, you know, like, Life from that like that. It's terrible when it comes to, you know. And it's not good, you know, because certain times, you know, people think you're smoking drugs and you want to actually, you know, go and do something, come something wicked to someone. It's not that, it's just. Do you have any regrets about your decision? I want to quit. You want to quit? Yeah, the drugs is not good and uh, I think I had my post, you know. I don't know, you know, it's just funny, you know, because like... You want to quit, you said. Um, have you ever tried to quit? Uh, people have taken steps into trying to get me into rehab, like, and all of that. Quit, quit, you can say, yeah, well, I've been smoking from the... When I was 23, I'm 14. That's 17 years. It's just it's good. I'm, I'm not on a plenty of jobs, you know. I'm not smoking plenty of jobs. You know. It's just like a little quantity, you know. This may be a change in circumstances for me, but actually, put me into this job in there and give me something positive to do, you know. That can make me just, you know. So, do you myself, want to quit or do people want you to I, quit? I, I think it's uh, in myself, I'm 14. I said, do you want to quit? You're ready to quit? I should, I should, I should stop this, you know. It's just, I think it's affecting me and you know it's just like you know the mix like I'm thinking it's better to just lay it down you know because there's a lot of things like when I was a child as well you know like um I fell out of my father's hand you know and it just didn't go good I don't 
say, let's just leave it there, man. Because, you know, 